So welcome to our Zoom call about our Pure Hope Ranch retreat that we're planning for March, 2022. We're so excited to get this launched. Um, Joellen and I had a meeting with Katie Ford who runs the retreats at Pure Hope Ranch. Um, both of us have strong connections to Pure Hope Ranch and there's a lot of people that just love it. And there's people that have never seen it, never set foot on it. Maybe they don't even know what it is, but we really want you to invite you to consider coming with us for a really life-changing event because it's, it is going to be about resting, relaxing, um, bonding with other people. Maybe some people like our two teams coming together and then Sharon, she may have some from her team coming too. I'm part of her team. So, you know, there may be more of us. Um, so we want you to prayful, prayerfully consider joining us and see if this is what God wants you to do. He's leading you in this direction. Um, so the dates that we confirmed were March 3rd, 4th, 5th, and 6th. And, and actually that's kind of up for debate because we've already had a little rumblings about people would prefer two days. And Kathy Crockett and I had a little conversation, well, and Joelle and you had a conversation with her too, that um, sometimes two days works better for people financially, as well as just getting away, especially those who have little ones or whatever circumstances, it might make more sense to do. And we are going to discuss all that. But um, so to launch it off, I'm going to start with giving you an agenda of what we're planning to do. And, we're, and then we can discuss it. We can just openly talk about whatever you think and give us your input. Um, we, we were pricing it. You will go to purehoperanch.com. In fact, you can pull that website up if you want to while we're talking and look at it. It's fabulous. Um, there are options. They did reserve for us the, the inn because I think we could all stay there, but there are people that would like to stay in one of the cottages. It's a little more private and you can do that too. But, you know, prices apply. But so before I get into those details, um, I want to kind of briefly go over what the agenda is going to look like. And I'm going to do it in the framework of two days because Kathy felt like Kathy has done, Kathy Crockett has done five team retreats here. And so she's kind of condensed it down to what works best. So I totally believe in what she says. So um and here's what I'm going to tell you. And then I'm going to let Joellen take over here for a moment. But um, if we do two nights, it'd be arrival on Friday. And hopefully everyone could get in by, say, three o'clock, four o'clock latest. Because the first thing we want to do is a tour of Elsa's garden. Some of you know Elsa, many of you that she's part of Joellen's team. So I know you guys know about her. The garden is a great place for meditating, journaling, just relaxing and Deep breathing. <laughs> so, um, Joanne, I'm going to have you speak up now about it because I know that's close to your heart. Well, Elsa was our, our my team's upline, and so she is very missed. And my husband recently just made two gorgeous with tender, loving care benches for the garden. So we just visited it recently, and um, it's just it's just Elsa. It's just. Catherine did such a phenomenal job of capturing the sweet spirit of our upline. So I know all my team will get a, a special uh, blessing out of that. Ooh, my tower garden just went off. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. My tower garden went off. Um, and so, you know, we'll start there. And then all through the weekend, if you want to go back out there, uh, Catherine does a really neat tour of it and talks about Elsa. And she supported this ministry a great deal. And so we'll just be blessed by, by starting it off there. I think it'll be exciting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and Kathy agrees with that. She said one of her retreats, she put the tour of Elsa's garden on the end and people were like, ah, uh, if I'd known that I would have been sitting out there more. I would have been enjoying that more. So, um, so we will start off with that and hopefully when everyone arrives and then we'll have dinner that night. And then, um, there's a gathering that's really fun in the great room or the living room there in the end. Um, how many of you have been there? Have you all seen it? Have you seen it? Okay. So a few people have seen it and they know what I'm talking about. And that's a great place to really just talk about your, our, our highs or our good things. She calls it the highs. We call it um, our celebrations on our team. And then really what that does bring up too is maybe some things we've gotten through to get there. 
So it's always good conversation about just who we are and what we're doing and, and just celebrate together. And um, that can also be a time of just bonding and, um, and then prayer time if we want to do that. So that would be really fun. And that'd be like seven to 9 PM. And then people who want to stay up and keep talking can others can go to bed. And then um, what's great is we can do like a brunch, which keeps the cost down like at 10 or 10 30 the next morning, but everyone's welcome to bring like their shake stuff, but you want to make a shake um, and you get up early, maybe you want to walk the ranch or whatever you want to do, people can get up, but we convene again at brunch in the morning. So everyone, we've got a refrigerator that's dedicated to bring snacks and drinks. So, I mean, that's great because then everyone will feel good to be able to do that. And then around 10, 30, 11, whenever we're done with the brunch, we would do some trainings and I don't want it to be training heavy. Kathy said, don't err on that side, keep it fun and relaxing. <laughs> so um, I wanna do that. So what we would do is trainings, maybe for a couple hours and Catherine has agreed to do trainings for us, which is, I'm so excited because she normally charges for her trainings and you know, rightfully so. And, and Joelle and I discussed, we could hop in and do a training too, each of us tag team a little bit. So there would be some juice plus training involved there. And then take a break and go into town, into Mount Vernon, and with the intent of touring the Hope Home there. But also there's a great coffee shop. People could grab a snack or walk around. She told me there's also a great place to take pictures or everybody can do group pictures and just have fun. There's little cute boutiques and shopping in town to do that. So that would last about, um, the tour would be around 1.30 on Saturday. And then everyone can just kind of mingle or, or go back to the ranch, whatever they want to do. It's really totally open, um, whatever people want to do. And dinner, let's say around 5.30, kind of an early dinner, but that gives us a time to, after dinner, we can do dream boards, that's on the table. Um, we could do more training if we wanted, uh, just personal, I mean, not personal training. Um, uh, what am I trying to say? Like life training but I think it'd be fun to do dream boards or some fun activity where we still are you know able to laugh and talk and have some music going and just fun stuff to do that evening and then on um the last day on Sunday we would have another brunch so this kind of keeps the meal price down to keep to have brunch instead of breakfast and lunch and then again people can do their shakes if they're up early and want to do that we'd have a devotional time on Sunday and then the people that need to leave to catch a plane or drive or whatever could take off or other people could hang out a little bit longer. Um, I think checkouts at 12, I believe. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, and, and then, um, you know, people could also go back into town if they want to go have lunch in town and walk around. Sarah, who's one of the interns, we call the women their interns. Sarah is very willing to come share her story. She's had a real turnaround experience and she's, um, is, is available. And we would, Joel and I would pitch in and we'd pay her a little fee just to make her time worth it. Not, not a lot of money, but a little bit just to make it worth it. But it's so powerful to hear her story, to hear what she's been through. And, you know, not all the women are in a place where they want to share what they've been through, but you will hear stories of them that are, won't come from their mouth personally, but you'll hear more about it. And just the power of what we're doing there um, is just it's, it can be overwhelming. It just feels like I'm, I can't even believe what a big problem this is, but also because each and every person can have a hand in changing a life. And that's just um, so amazing. So, and we may have some team challenges that come up. Joelle and I haven't planned out every detail, but we may have some challenges that we'll offer you while you're there. So, so basically in summary, two nights, anyone, in fact, if anyone wanted to stay an extra night, either come Thursday night early, it's fine if there's a you know sufficient number of people, like let's say three to six people want to come early um, or stay Sunday night and leave Monday. That happens too. So if someone decides they want to do that, it's quite possible to make plans for that. So that's what I have. Um, does anybody have questions or Joellen, do you want to jump in? I, I want to jump in just real quick because I've been very blessed to have a lot of wonderful mentors in my life. But Catherine Lee by far exceeds 
every mentor I've ever had. Um, and I happened to be in the talk that she did in College Station. I don't know if y'all have read her book. I bet some of y'all have read it, but on page yeah. 76, she's talking about um, there was three. She was really questioning whether God had placed this vision on her heart and she needed a, a, a fleece moment, so to speak. And so these three women were talking all through her talk and like talking amongst themselves and passing notes and crying. And Catherine's like, oh, my gosh, I just totally blew it. You know, she was feeling so self-conscious and afterwards they just grabbed her and she thought they were going to you know say that was awful whatever and they said we are from a sex trafficking we've been rescued and she said you know we needed something like what you're getting ready to offer these women and I'll read you what Catherine said just real quick because it really made a big impression on my heart Catherine um Let's see, it says, I was floored. My friend Nancy had no idea I would be talking about trafficking in my talk, but just felt led to invite these young women to the talk. Talk about confirmation. Then they said something to me I will never forget. Catherine, thank you. Terrible things happened to us every day while we were trafficked, but the worst part was thinking that no one cared. So it's just such a, I, I love this ministry and happened to, marry a man who loves this ministry. I'm so blessed to have, have found somebody who has the same passion I do about it. And so I'm just excited to share it with everybody. It'll be a fun time to bond as a team and just have a little fun, relax. And just, um, and then of course, training from Catherine. I think she said she'd give us two to four hours of training. So nothing beats Catherine Lee's training. And if Sharon's there, maybe she'll bless us too. So <laughs> yes. Yeah, that would be great. Well, um, are there anybody? Yes, go ahead, Karen. I have a question. So, um, when you said to go to the Hope Inn, so the um, we're at the ranch, but where the the women are are at a different place. Right. There, the Hope. That's a good question because it's sometimes we breeze through it and <laughs> not too clear. But the Hope Home is in Mount Vernon. We are beginning, we have gotten funding. I say we, because I'm on the board of, of uh, Pure Hope. Um, there is, we've gotten the funding to start building some of the homes on the ranch. It, that hasn't happened yet. Um, the Hope Home is a historic home that we bought way back. That's even a story that you'll hear. But mm -hmm. that home um, we bought way back and that is where the women are housed. And we have two house mothers that live there full time. Okay. Uh, yeah. So the ranch is just is separate. Yes. A at, this, at this point, yes, the ranch is separate. Mm -hmm. I think they actually have, broken, I'd have to confirm it with Wayne, but he was just there. I think they've actually broken ground on the second Hope home that's going to be there on the property, but they brought bought hundreds of acres. It used to be a, a Frisbee golf. Well, <laughs> it, still it, is. Is. Still, yeah, it still is. is. Yeah. And Catherine has found a way to, the girls that are living at Hope home have to make money that's part of their deal they have to earn their you know earn some money and so they all typically work also these kinds of retreats when it's safe people like us as women from juice plus or whatever um, those ladies get an opportunity yeah. to work and earn some extra income and clean the rooms and whatever else they do serve the food so, yeah they're, they're around yeah and we call them interns so yeah they're around yes karen hill um, can y'all give us a little bit more information about uh, accommodations? Like you said, we'd be staying at the inn. What are those yeah. rooms like? Yeah. Um, so if you go wonderful. to wonderful, <laughs> I'm sorry. Wonderful. They're wonderful. It's like oh. a huge bed and breakfast kind of feeling to it. I mean, yeah, it's just beautiful. Every aspect of it is. So anyway, sorry for interrupting. But. No, no, go ahead, Sharon. Um, yes, it is cozy and comfortable. Now, what we're basing, what the pricing you'll see is based on double occupancy. So you want to figure out your roommate. Um, everybody, in fact, I talked to somebody today, today that I hadn't talked to in a while. And um, I made it clear, we definitely want you to bring your own roommate. Um, and so that's something you'll figure out and you'll book directly with the end. So that whatever price you see for the first night, it's 20% off of that for the second night. 
So okay, that, that say that again. So when you go on, yeah. yeah, when you go on there and you see the pricing, um, it's going to be the rooms are different prices. There's actually cottages, but I don't think those are. Um, we want to keep everybody in the end put together is what we're hoping to do. Yeah. So, um, so that price you'll see is um, the price that you'll be charged for Friday night and Saturday night would be 20% off. And then we'll have a separate number that is for um, food for the, you know, food and the training that'll be provided everything. So um, you would book directly with the inn but we want to do it together as a group. So after you make a decision, you might tell Joelle on what you're doing, who you're going to be okay. with. And then um, also, I, we, I think we decided, Joelle, did we, that when we pay for the food, the meals, so there's Friday night, brunch Saturday, Saturday night and brunch Sunday, so four meals, that um, they would turn the money in your team to you. And then you turn, so they just want one payment. So then Joel and you would give the funds to me and I would make the payment to, to Katie, who, who's the retreat person. So let me, let me clarify one quick thing too, Karen, there's also rooms that hold like six bunk beds. So you could put six people if you wanted to share the room, six people, it's okay. Uh, or somebody wants to have their own room. They can have their own room. We're not going to say you have to have two in a room. It's just, that's what the price is based sure. on. Sure. Oh, and okay. another talk about that more offline. But there's enough, okay. enough rooms for everybody to um, either have a single or a double or there's plenty of rooms in the Yeah, end there's a, actually a ranch house. So, and there's two or three cabins. Mimi was talking about getting a cabin. I was talking about getting a cabin just to kind of have a, I don't know. Anyway, but there's plenty of extra ancillary rooms. Uh, we're going to try and book the, the main house first. Everybody who wants to be there, you can go pick your room right now at that purehoperanch.com. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And it's first come, first serve. Whoever books the room first, that's the room you get. If you want to book it for four people and hope you fill it up, that's great. But you yeah. can see all the rooms online. But I think there's some of the rooms hold up to six people if people were really trying to be cost- um, efficient yeah it's so is it's, that the main house or the cottage house or the coral house the so the corral house is corral. like I think nine people i think there's a lot it holds a lot okay but here's what i was saying is we would prefer if we could get everybody in the end is it it's holds 24 people comfortably 27 uncomfortably but mm -hmm. so we want 24 people in the end and then we'll look at the cottages and the corral house. And I know like Joellen was saying about let's keep the cost down because that's going to make it or break it for some people. You know, I, I know that's the case. Um, but we, we can talk the financial part at a part two because, because we want, we're committed to make it work. For people that want to come, we're going to help people get there. Um, so I just want you to know that. That's definitely the way we feel about it. So it's going to be such an experience. We want people that want to be there to be able to get there. So, so, me, so the inn is what called the main house? Yes. Okay. So can you give a ballpark figure for the cost of the weekend, like including meals and lodging? Yeah, let me hear. Um, I can tell you um, from my notes when we had a meeting with Katie. So, I think it was going to be $150 for three, including if we came Thursday night for dinner. So I think it's going to be less than what she quoted us. So you, yes, did you, yes, yes, yeah. yes. Which included um, the training and the food and everything. Right. Okay. Other than your bed. So you, do you have your notes there in front of you, Joelle? And I'm looking at the cost. I'm looking for the cost. Okay. Cost per head trainings. Um, we I wrote 150. Did I write it wrong? But that was, again, that was starting Thursday night. Which so 150 is for the food and trainings. Okay. And then what about the rooms? All right. Okay. On the rooms, I had 189 to 279, depending on the room in the end. So Enough. the 189 would be split by two. The two, right. 289 could, I think, sleep up to four or six. So you can seriously, you just have to look online and they're giving us a price break. So you just call Katie and book your room. I think it's, 
was it a 10% or a 20%? You said 20. I thought I wrote down 10%. No, it's 20 because I, Kathy, I heard Kathy repeat it today. So okay. I'm confident okay. about that. Um, so y'all, of, of what you've heard right now, would you prefer a two day, two nights? I mean, would you per okay, Sharon's saying yes, Karen, Karen. I think so, yes. Okay, Jen, okay. And I can't tell what Caitlin thinks or Karen B. <laughs> yeah, that's but, fine. Okay. Well, the, two, the two nights would be the Friday night, Saturday night, go home Sunday. Yeah, yeah. I, oh. I kind of like that too. I kind of like that too. So, um, yeah. Okay. Well, good. Well, at this point, okay. Caitlin says yes, two nights. All right. <laughs> well, um, does anybody have other questions? Because I'm going to stop the recording unless, I mean, if somebody does, we'll wait. Okay. I'm going to shut down the recording. That's good because we're keeping.